thanks you guys for being here. Um, while you're getting set up at home, I'm Christy. And um, please, if you have a block or a book or a pillow, just maybe something to help prop up. We're gonna open up our spine to begin. So maybe um, something that you can do for your shoulders is a prop support. It can be anything. I'm gonna show you some makeshift stuff from home and um, we'll get started in just a second. Okay, so if you, um, if you can, please, if you have a block or even a blanket, we're gonna take this and place it in the middle of our upper back. So, and if you don't have one, don't worry about it. We're gonna really start to open up this area. We've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings and head holding down. So we're gonna to start to try to open up this, this frontal portion of our, our neck and also our frontal chest. So you'll take this block and you'll place it kind of in the center of the shoulder blades like so. If you have another block, you can place it back behind your head. And even if you don't, if you have the flexibility, maybe in a pillow back behind the back of the skull, you can really just start to open up the chest this way. And you can leave your feet nice and wide with your knees knocking together. You might want to extend your legs out nice and long. The arms will be in a soft W-like shape, if that's okay, if that's too much your arms down by your body's side or perhaps a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly. But either way, just allow the chest to start to open as we settle into our bodies this morning. Feel free to close your eyes. But just letting your, the weight of your body just submerge itself down and towards the earth. And allowing yourself to really feel your breath, perhaps acknowledging it for the first time today by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And a full audible breath, let it go out of the mouth. Even hear yourself breathe, really cleansing out the stale air. Again, deep, full inhale breath all the way up. Feel the rib cage expand. Can you pause at the top? And then exhale audibly, let all the breath just soothe out of the body. And then just one more time, a full inhale, breathing into the side, rib cage, opening up the heart, right beneath the collarbones, holding at the top. Exhale to let it go. And just start to begin to find your natural and normal breath. Whatever that might feel and look like for you this morning, just nothing fancy, just feeling the body being breathed. And so we use this practice to help not just physically move the body, but also to help calm some of the, a lot of the noise that's going on inside of our minds. So each time you find yourself drifting to a thought or a, you know, something that we need to, that COVID's presented to us, something that's been taken away or something that we're missing, just seeing if you can come back to what you actually have right now. And that's the breath, this ability to move your body and be here. And so as you're ready, we'll just slowly start to turn our palms downward, bring your elbows in, chin up towards your chest, and just kind of kind of climb yourself up a little bit, look down towards your belly button. And notice how the back of the neck gets long and the front of the, um, the throat gets short. From here, bring your toes, point them up to the sky, flex your heels, press your palms down. Just start to feel your inner shoulder blades, start to lift up your heart. Good, slowly from here, just keep pressing yourself up, up, up. Good, we'll go ahead and come on into a crisscross seated position. So as you're here, go ahead and just come on to a crisscross seat, does not matter what shin is in front of which. Moving your blocks or props or your blanket off towards the side. And it's, it's so nice, actually it's, it's weird just be in my house, um, like my slippers are over there, my morning cup of coffee and, you know, but we're getting used to this new normal. And so getting used to your body, even at this morning hour, whatever time zone you might be practicing with, but let's get familiar with our breath and what it can do for us here as we move in our practice. So plant your palms on your knees, draw your shoulders back. And just do some gentle movements, connecting breath to movement. So slowly just inhale, bringing your chin upward just to the best that you can, nothing very far. Maybe taking your gaze up the back of the head back. 
Good, exhale, drop the chin downward towards your chest. Two more times, inhale, opening up the front throat, nice and slow, taking your gaze up towards the sky, our eyes are closed. And then exhale, chin up towards the chest, draw the navel up and in as your sit bones prong down. Just one more time, deep inhale, lifting up. Exhale, taking the chin down towards chest. Feel the back of the neck lengthen, the front throat shorten. Pausing here, taking a half horseshoe shape, bringing your chin to your chest and just rolling your right ear over towards your right side shoulder. Feel the left side of the scaly neck get nice and long. Good, inhale, taking that half smile, the horseshoe shape, chin over to the left side. Just doing this a few times, noticing any elements of strain or tenderness. Not about you, but my, my neck is really, really tight these days. Good, and then slowly as you're ready, ending on your left side, just come back on upright. Nice, everyone. From here, we'll go ahead and come on in towards our tabletop position, still playing around with our, this weight that we have, this weightiness we have in our neck and head. Moving your props to the side, taking your fingers nice and wide like starfish. Shoulders on top, elbows, elbows on top of the wrist, toenails click down to the earth. Let's still keep that chin towards the chest, feel the back of the neck lengthen, look up towards your belly button. See if you can see your toes disappear behind the back of your heels. Start to dome and spread your shoulder blades, rounding your back. Okay, now take a deep inhale breath, let the breath move the body. Inhale and spine, open on up and towards your cow. Good, exhale, dome and round and towards your cat. And so for many of us, this, these postures might be familiar, but making them your own, maybe changing out the creases of the wrists, maybe moving slower, moving quicker. There's no right, no wrong. And just coming on back to that neutral tabletop pose, good, untucking the toes, feel the back of the skull start to lift up, come into a, the, that cow shape here with the heart and the chest lifted. With these toes tucked under, now exhale, bring the chin downward towards the chest, round and dome with the feet flexed. And then inhale, come on into what you can sense as neutral. As you press down to the palms, can you start to lift the knees and shin bones an inch off the floor? Press the heels back, you can always keep the knees down to the ground, but lift the abdominal wall up and in. As you press through the palms, for the outer triceps wrap back. And as you breathe, feel it from the outer side, waistline, and the breath travels right into the, beneath the collarbone, spreading that collarbone outward, holding here for three. Just pressing the earth away, warming up the quadriceps for two. So good, you guys, on one, slowly start to lift up, downward facing dog. Oh, just bending in towards one knee, walking out the dog. Shaking your head, yes. Maybe shaking it, no. And take a soft little bend in towards your knees. And as you do, the palms press the floor away. Stamp the shoulders on the back and lift the navel up and in and feel the inner thigh bones spread back behind you. Can you wrap the outer triceps down as you start to research the heels a little bit closer towards the earth? Same thing here, inhale in your down dog, but it's okay for the head neck. Just start to look up and oh, notice how that feels. On the exhale, take your chin downward towards your chest. Maybe look up towards your navel. And then can you find that place of neutral with the ears hovering right between the inner biceps? On the inhale, glide the body forward as if you're snorkeling in the ocean and beaches that we wish were open. Right, so you're here, you have that snorkel on, so you want the back of the skull to extend forward, the eye level gaze down, we're holding here for three. Tailbone releasing from the back and spine from two. And one, exhale, downward facing dog. Walking your hands back towards your toes, bend in towards your knees. Inhale, float to a halfway lift, feel the inner thighs spin back, hands to shins or blocks. And use your breath to exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, heart and chest extend, side length long. Exhale, we float. 
And one more time, inhale, really grow long thighs back, breathe through the sides of the ribs. You keep that sense of length and the gaze down and just walk your way back to the downward facing dog. Did you guys inhale, coming forward to your high plank? So I'll go ahead and drop down towards the knees, pull the hips, the, pu the pubic bone, pelvis forward, nice and slow. Just start to lower down that halfway. Option layer to pause here, pull up that low belly. You can always lower to cope to the floor. Otherwise, press up an inch and lower an inch. Press up an inch and lower one inch. Keep it the back of the skull long. Just one more time, lift and lower, hold. Well done, all the way down towards the floor. Release the top of the feet, downward towards the earth, cobra pose, elbows in. And again, let's take the chin all the way down to the chest. Feel the back of the neck get long. Forehead touches the ground. Pull up the low belly, feel the back of the spine grow long. Inner elbows in now, inhale from the back of the skull, cobra pose, palms drag back. Good, exhale, lower down. Forehead touches down, low belly lifts. Inhale, pubic bone down, lifting up the belly, length and think length for its height, cobra pose. Good, exhale, we lower down. Last time, inhale, take some length, inner elbows in, open up, can the breath travel underneath the collarbones? Some of you may stay here, some of you may start to lift more to the up dog. One more breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Option to travel back in towards your tabletop to lift, otherwise forehead down towards the floor. Tucking the toes under, low navel lifts up, knees, thighs lift, inner elbows hug. Can you press yourself like an elevator to plank? Downward facing dog breath. So really just feel the body, feel the body just getting breathed. When I mean that, what I mean by that is just like it's a, each breath is literally giving every cell in your body a little bit more life this morning. Bend in towards your knees, take the chin forward, gaze to the thumbs and walk yourself on up to the back, top of the mat. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold, taking your rag doll hands towards your elbows. Maybe a sway here, side to side, and really encouraging some bent knees. As you bend your knees, feel the outer sides of your hips sway, switch out the grip of the elbows. And as you feel gravity, feel the back of the hamstrings lift, the low belly start to lift up even more. Well done, everyone. Release the fingertips, inhale, come to your halfway lift with bent knees. The gaze is down, remember that snorkel. Hands towards your hip bones, pressing towards your feet. Slowly lift yourself all the way up. Nicely done. Oh, then roll the shoulders. Feel free, you're gonna stay facing forward. I'm just gonna turn to face you. Feet will be parallel. If it's more comfortable, your toes can be together. But either way, we're gonna just try to find that alignment. So when our body is aligned, we have a better opportunity to just find that alignment and balance with our thoughts, our emotions, and our feelings. So let the body be the placeholder for what travels through this space so we can make sense of what's happening in here. Opening up your palms, feel the tailbone descend, the front ribs drive themselves downward to the top hip bones as the hip bones lift. Feel the collarbones again, open up, widen, extend, fingertips down, eyes can stay closed or open. But just taking one full breath with just an awareness of breathing into this body of yours with a sense of gratitude. And exhale, we let it go. Feel free to open your eyes. We'll start to really move ourselves again to your pace. Let your body be breathed and let the breath guide the movement. On your next inhale, arms reach all the way up. Find that lift from the back of the ribs. Exhale, forward fold, we take it down. Just a half A, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, get long in the side waist. And exhale, deeply fold down. One more time, press down as if you can rebound up. Inhale, arms reach, lift up strong. Maybe the gaze up, exhale, hands to heart. We'll add on, inhale, arms are gonna reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, we dive it down. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands plant. And we're just gonna go ahead and step ourselves on back with our, um, actually step back into your high plank. Holding here for three. Keep pressing it away. Think about that snorkel, the back of the tailbone long. We're pressing it away. One more breath. Good, downward facing dog. On your inhale, come on forward to your high plank. Exhale, feel free to drop the knees if you need. Elbows go back, chaturanga lowers. You have the option for cobra or maybe the up dog is an invitation to explore, but you decide. Lift from the back of the skull. Exhale, can you come back to your plank? And then downward facing dog, take a breath. Noticing where the gaze goes, look up towards the belly as you press the earth away. Shoulders stay stamped on the back. Bend the knees, gaze up to the top of the mat and tiptoe, step or jump your way on up. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, we fold it down. Good, pressing down into your feet. Inhale, arms are gonna reach all the way on up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're going to do a different layer variation. Nice, you guys. Inhale, arms lift up from the sideways. Maybe if it's okay for the neck, the gaze goes up to the thumbs. If not, keep looking forward. Exhale, forward, fold down. Use the space you have in your home to move. Inhale, halfway lift. Keeping that length in your snorkel gaze. Exhale, stepping your right foot on back. Use your blocks or your um, books, whatever you might have, if you need them to bring the floor to you, to keep the chest lifted. Ground your left heel. And as you do, you'll feel that outer left hip slice itself back. Inner thighs spin downward towards the floor. Can you from here slowly fly the arms back, press down to the center of the left heel to stay here for one breath. Good, from here, sweep the arms forward, biceps by the ears, one breath in. And then exhale, hands down to the floor. You can always leave the right knee down, right hand to the earth, inhale, open up, feel the side, left rib cage spin open. What happened to that right leg? Feel your right thigh lift itself up, hug the outer hips in. And as if you have two wings of a bird strapped to your back, spread it open, breathe, open up. It's good from here, nod the head, yes. Just loosen up here, this portion of the cervical spine. The space here of the C7 and the T1, the top of the upper back, looking about like our text head and neck, and just pause and return the chin to neutral, breathe, one more breath. Good, you guys, releasing that left hand down, high plank pose. Again, chaturanga to lower if you'd like, or stay in your plank. Cobra knee up dog, lift from the back skull. Exhale to plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, extending the right heel leg up to the sky, front ribs draw to the chest. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, dome the back, maybe the knee and the nose touch or not. Either take your hand to your ankle and take the foot forward, but lightly land it down. Same action, use your blocks. Press the inside of the right foot to take the outer right hip back. Fly your arms back, lift the abdominal wall up. Feel the collarbones open. Bring the chin to the chest. And we, in yoga, we call it our drishti, it's our gaze. It's our point of focus. When we can focus on something physical happening now, it helps our mind draw that connection of concentration in. So find your focal point and then inhale, arms will sweep forward, biceps over the ears, pause. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, open up, let's take that rotation. Only if it's okay for the head neck, gaze up. Otherwise, gaze to the left fingertips. What happened to that left thigh? Maybe it got soggy, like soggy milk and cereal. So feel that right hip extend back. Lift the left thigh bone, press the earth away, roll from the left rib, open up the navel, then the right side waist, breathe one more breath, maybe again, nodding a little yes. As good as you're ready, release the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, extend the chest, can you keep that? And just step the left foot forward as you fold. 
Good, pressing down, inhale, arms reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, samasthiti, standing at your own attention. Good, we'll add on, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold, we take it down. Nice, inhale, halfway lift. Good, on the next exhale, we step the left foot on back. Good, again, pausing here, right into it, we know where we're headed. Fly the arms on back. Good, the inhale, arms will reach forward. And if it's okay for the head neck, we're just gonna take a soft bend of the left knee. Inhale, start to upright the chest. You can always leave that left knee down. Stay here for a breath. Nice, and the exhale, elbows bend. Maybe the knee taps or just hovers off the earth. Inhale, dynamic crescent. Press into the right heel, arms reach. Exhale, elbows bend. Keep the sternum chest lifted, tailbone long. Just one more time, inhale, we gently lift. Right knee stays bent. Exhale, elbows bend. Good job, everyone. Inhale, arms reach, biceps towards the ears. Exhale, straighten the back leg, arms reach, hands towards the floor. Well done, step it on back. Option here, we can hold in plank. A great place to stay and explore. Otherwise, if you're feeling it, take that vinyasa. You can always take your child's pose. I'll actually demonstrate that now. Otherwise, you're in down dog. In child's pose, we're here. Oh, it's one of my favorite places, but you decide. But we're still moving on. So to taking wherever it is that you need, and that's part of that self-monitoring. Inhale, just lift the left leg and you can join us whenever you're ready. Exhale, knee comes in towards the nose, dome the back, and then release the left foot. Same action, slide the left hip back, pulling up the belly, fly the arms. Feel the front body breathe into the back wings, arms swing forward, soft bend into the right knee, and as if you have bicep speakers built inside the inner arms, start to lift yourself on up, tailbone down, take a breath. Exhale, elbows drop, knee descends. Inhale, back leg straight, arms reach, front ribs drop. Exhale, elbows bend. One more time, inhale, we lift on up, left hip back, frontal hip bones rise. Exhale, lower. Can you stay low, straighten the back leg, inhale, lift, maybe on this one, take the gaze upward. Well done, exhale, hands down. Lifting up the chest, inhale, hug that outer left hip in as you press the left heel. Exhale, step it forward and forward. Inhale to your halfway lift. Nice and exhale, dive it down. Well done, everyone. Soft bend in towards your knees. Inhale, arms are gonna reach forward. And again, that, find that bicep speaker. Can you shift the weight in towards your heels? and get down nice and low, just as low as you feel you can. And then from here, just kind of a modified bear squat. You're pressing in towards your heels. We're gonna to start to rotate the palms to the sky, lift the chest, tailbone down, one breath. Good, release the arms, press in towards your heels. Find your Tadasana, your mountain pose. And just check in with your breath. Check in what you're feeling in the body right now in terms of heat or thought change, mood change, wherever you are. And just one sun A. Inhale, arms reach up as a little rinse. Exhale, forward fold. Notice where your gaze goes as the body travels. Inhale, extend. Can you keep the eyes soft? Exhale, bend your knees, hands plant. I know some of you watching, Steve, I think you're on. You're jumping back into that high plank. Good, chaturanga lowers. Inhale, open up the heart. Let's open it up today. Strong legs and feet, high plank. Downward facing dog, take a breath. Or two or three. As you're ready, bend the knees, gaze forward, lightly step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Good, pressing down, inhale, arms reach, rise, and lift all the way up. And exhale, samasthiti. We're gonna come into um, our mat, so you can either stay at the center if you have, we're gonna do some balance. So depending on your surface, if you're on carpet, 
you know, it's a little softer and requires some more work, you can always use a wall. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start our balance in a tree pose just to kind of get ourselves grounded with where we're headed. So you're going to start with your right foot grounded towards the floor. And notice here automatically as you lift up your left heel, we dump a lot of weight in that outer right hip. So feel if you can get that outer right hip, hug it in. Options here, hands to hip bones. You can take kickstand, which is layer one, but we're opening up this inner thigh groin. Layer two, taking your foot to the inner calf. Layer three, can you plant it in the inner thigh? However, put the toes down first, then the ball mount, and then the heel. And then spread the toes as you slurp everything up to that midline. And then bring your hands towards the center of your chest. So option one to stay or keep your hands on your hips. Option two, we're gonna still play with opening up the throat, head, neck. And maybe some of us will start to elevate up the arms. Soften the front ribs, but as the hip bones lift, if it's okay, just gently start to open up the throat. So in yoga energy, this is known as the throat chakra, the Vishuddha. It's our main peace speaker of communication. Right? And so right now we're doing a lot of probably not our ideal form of communication, but we got to be able to open up and speak from this place of our heart. We'll be gazing up, lifting up, lengthening. Good. Exhale, hands back to the center of your heart, dropping your chin down. Good. Releasing your hands towards your hips. Knee towards center. Pause. Can you extend out through the heel, lift up the abdominal wall, spread the toes. Good. And lower it on down. All right, second side bonus, or not, how you choose to look at it. So from here, hands back to hips. Oh, all right, taking your left heel toward, back first, let's take that outer left hip in. Right heel towards inner ankle, layer one, layer two, take it to the inside calf. Layer three, we take it up again, plant the toe first, then the heel, spread the toes and like a slurpee. Hands to your heart center, tailbone long. Just knowing that wherever you find yourself is, is perfect. We're going to force ourselves into anything and just extend the arms. Start to lift and lengthen if it's okay for the head, neck. Maybe gazing up, maybe even this time with the gaze up, you can even close your eyes. Right? Allow the wiggles, the wobbles, falling is not failing in any way. Just one more breath. And hands come back to the center of the heart chest. Good, taking your knee back forward, hands to hips, lift the hip bones up, engage the abdominal wall, and then just extend your leg, maybe even hold it underneath the hamstring. We're here for three. Press down to the left heel for two. And one, Whew, we lower it down. Right, find your way back to the top of your mat if you're not already there. On your next inhale breath, keep firing up the quads, glutes, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Weights to heels, hip bones lift, get long in that side waist. But we're gonna have a moment to just melt into the posture where you can feel again the earth and the soles of the feet. Find that surface point connector. From there, press down that big toe ball mount. And as you do, just feel the inner thigh start to release a little bit. Hug in from those outer hips. Breathe into the side back rib cage. Front ribs, draw more into the back body. Can you drop one more inch? Keeping the knees bent, good. Fingertips down. Now let's fold and release. Feel that heat release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands plant, stepping on back in towards your high plank. Chaturanga hold. Inhale, opening up your heart and chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend, reach your right heel, take your gaze up towards the toes. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, doming the back again, either leaving the gaze long or nose to knee. And exhale, take the foot release. Back heel delivers down. Notice what happens that outer right hip. Either heel to heel alignment or make your feet a little bit of wider space apart, about like an inch or inch and a half or two strip. But take your right hand, your thumb and index finger, that hip hook, hug it in, dig into the back left heel as you extend your left arm forward. 
Taking your bicep speaker to that right ear, right arm forward. Feel that inner left thigh release towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lift on up to the warrior one. Can we pause here to send the tailbone? Start to lift up a little bit more through the heart and chest. Yet, can you keep your gaze down towards the cheekbones? And when you do this here, you feel the back of the neck skull lift. Gaze, keep your gaze down hands towards the center of the chest and just open on up to your warrior two. In your warrior two pose, ground down to the right heel. Keep the inseam of the left thigh spinning itself back. As you press into the right heel, slowly start to slurp up the right quadricep all the way on up. Keep the space of the hips. What happened to this back leg? Feel the left thigh press back. Arms extend long. Micro bend to the right knee. Trikonasa, extend, 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 lengthen from the side body. Right hand towards your right shin. If you have a block, take it to the height on the highest height or whatever height you need outside of the right foot. And again, we're going to take that rotation that we did in side plank, start to, oh, or rather the open twist, start to open up the right side rib cage towards the left. It's okay for the head neck. We're going to gaze to the top uh, finger. Otherwise, gaze down. But as you press into the right heel, feel the release of that inner left thigh seam. Feel the front body breathe into the back body and open up more through the collarbones with each breath. So the practice just teaches us being patient, noticing the sound of your breath, the clenching of your jaw, and where there might be some cranky parts of the body, places that are overly stiff, just where can we soften a little bit more with the breath, but growing long, firm the back leg. We keep spreading the shoulder blades. I know the hold's gonna be over in a moment, but staying patient, hold. Good, as you're ready, press down in towards the front foot, back foot, lift yourself all the way on up. Good, re-bend the right knee, pause. Inhale, let's reverse. Lift up, lift up, add that right sideways, press the right heel, but look back towards the back foot, release that side of the neck. And as you're ready, windmill yourself down towards your plank. Pause point here, you'll be up to stay in plank, you can always drop to your knees. Otherwise, just bring your ankle bones together and drop both heels towards your left. Can you press the earth away, but both palms stay grounded? Keep that left side waistline lifted. And then as you're ready, you can slowly just start to peel the top arm to the sky. Modification layers, drop your left knee. Yes, again, we're opening up this backside chest, but with the back of the skull, it draws itself back as well. The chin is towards the chest. Some of you are gonna go ahead and lift up that top leg wherever you are. There's one more breath. Good, as you're ready, you're gonna take a bend of that top knee, tap the toes. Can you open up to the wild thing? Let the head, the neck go, reach. Slowly come back to that side plank. Maybe take the gaze up towards the fingertips. Front hip wraps forward. High plank pose, option to stay here. Option to take your vinyasa or downward facing dog. Take a breath. Second side, inhale, inner left thigh extends, reach it back. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, dome the back spine, left foot down. Right heel is going to drop towards the earth. Same thing, thumb index finger hip. Slide the outer left hip back. Release the inseam of the right thigh. Extend the right arm forward. Extend the left arm forward. Good. reaching long, inhale, arms are gonna reach. We find our Virabhadrasana one. Again, take your gaze towards your cheekbones, but lift up from the low back. The pelvis lifts up, but the tailbone is anchored heavy. One more breath. Exhale, hands to heart, slicing it on open and towards the warrior two. Inner back thigh spins back. Left heel grounds and feel again a soft press down, but we're lifting. All of our energy, instead of being here in the low, in the front, um, or in the low back in front of the body, it's lifting up through the spine, spine energy lifting. Good arms extend nice and long. And what happened to this back leg? 
Keep it firmly grounded, scrubbing the back heel, straightening your front leg nice and long, arms extend. Exhale, take the reach, trikonasana pose. Keep a soft bend in the front knee. Keep rolling and spinning that inner back thigh back. And just research here on your own. Noticing where the gaze, where there can get a little bit more length by sending the left hip back, the right side of the waist a little bit longer forward. Maybe here again, nodding the head yes or even no a few times. So keep grounding down strong through the feet. Chest is open wide, spreading firmly through. Two more breaths. Well done, everyone. Pressing in towards your feet. Let's lift all the way back up. Oh, yes, let's take a bend to the knees. So well done, top palm sky. Inhale, let's reverse, lift up, lift up, but look back towards that back foot. Good, and exhale, let's take it on down, high plank. Good, pause point here, collarbones wide. As you're ready, we're gonna take our feet together, drop on over to your right side, pause. Lift up that outer right hip. Good, you press down to the right hand, slowly just start to open on up and towards that side plank. You're spinning your right bicep forward. Maybe the gaze goes to the sky. We're here for three. Some of you are lifting up that top leg like you did the opposite side for two. Good on one, bend the knee. Let's open up and towards that wild thing. Open up the hips, the chest, let the back of the head still go. Good, come back on in towards a high plank. One breath, however, whatever you need. Good, chaturanga down. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Everyone bend your knees and just walk your hands back towards your toes. Let's give our wrists a little break. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold it down. Peace fingers between big toe, first toe. Inhale, extend the heart and chest. And then exhale, elbows will bend out towards the side, top of skull releases. Inner thighs spin back. Just notice the heaviness of the head, that weightiness, but bend into the knee. And as you do, try to lift those toes up and feel the shoulders more into the back body. Let gravity continually take its toll on, on our face here upside down, but let the blood just rush in towards the brain. Good, inhale, come on up halfway. Pause here. Can you release the hands from the toes, but slide the palms beneath the feet so the toes tickle the wrist crease. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, elbows bend, let the head chest release. Keep your knees bent. And See if you can get your ribs just to land on your thigh tops. As you do, lift up through the sitting bones, elbows bend, shoulders climb on your back. Good, inhale, lift on up halfway. Keeping that length and distance, walk yourself forward, downward facing dog, take a breath. Good, bend your knees, gaze forward, lightly step yourself forward towards your forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, we fold it down. Good, bend in towards your knees, inhale, arms are gonna reach and rise. Good, press and lift, samastiti. Good, releasing fingertips, inhale, utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, we take it down. Inhale, halfway lift. So well, you guys, bend your knees, plant your hands, step it back or jump to the high plank. Chaturanga, feel yourself press the earth away as you lower. Cobra or the up dog, or we're ditching this completely, you decide yes. Exhale, plank pose, pause, lift the navel, and then from the pelvis, downward facing dog. And just stepping your right foot forward, low lunge, back heel descent. Inhale, arms reach all the way up, warrior one. 
And then from here, we're just gonna start to hinge the chest forward as if you had a block. If you do have a block or even your book, let's actually take it between both hands. And if you don't, don't worry about it. I mean, I've been looking here in my house, like I even have pine cones. I mean, whatever you have, this probably wouldn't feel very good. But you know, just something to maybe create that sense of just like connection. We wanna draw the inner shoulders in. And if you don't have anything, we just pretend it's still the same action. So pressing towards the sides of the block, it's gonna be held vertical or um, horizontally. Slide that right hip back. Okay, then we're just gonna to start to hinge ourselves forward. Keep sliding the hips, lift up that abdominal wall, and then maybe take the biceps up and over the ears. It's good, spin that inner thigh bone back, take a breath. Okay, now we're gonna keep that hinge or that block, but just start to now bring yourself upright vertical. Tailbone descends, keep the right knee bent, one more breath. Good, straightening up through the right leg, and then inhale, reach, 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 as if you're extending that block forward, pausing here. Outer right hip shapes back. Inner thigh seams keep spinning down to the earth. We're squeezing the block, holding three, holding two, so well done. On one, releasing down. Finding your pars, will tone us, now hug the outer hip in. Inhale, we take a breath. Exhale to fold. So that same action here, inner thighs, spin back. You're feeling your pelvis, your right pelvis draw itself back. Your outer left hip is reaching forward. Staying here for another breath. Good, take a soft bend in towards your right knee. Using the block, pivot on towards the back toes, nice and light, just lift yourself up into that half split. So you can use the block as a framework, keep hugging your outer right hip back, inner thighs spin back. Great, what happened to your gaze? Lift up from the back of the skull. Many of us are gonna stay here. Otherwise, reach that left heel center. Others, some are gonna bring your hands back towards your heart, we're here for three. Holding it two. Nicely done, on one. Can you slowly bend your right knee? Land the left toes, inhale, we reach back on up. Good, we're just gonna go ahead and straighten up your right leg. You're gonna drop your heels, kind of an awkward transition. We're just gonna open ourselves up into a wide star. Or right, going into our prostrated fold. Interlace fingers behind you, open up your heart and chest. And then exhale, let's take that forward fold down to the ground. I'm just gonna turn and face you this way. So your inner thighs spin back top of the skull towards the earth. So your inner thigh is release. And releasing your hands back down towards your low back, fingertips towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Good exhale, let's take that pivot back towards the front of our mat. Staying here and towards your plank pose. Option here to stay, option for a vinyasa. Otherwise, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Good, left foot steps itself forward. Last piece of our series standing. Right heel descends. And let's find that block or whatever, a pillow, book, and let's lift ourselves on in towards our warrior one. Well, we can pause it for a second, but we'll come on into, well, yeah. Go ahead and grab it, we need it anyway. Take your hands towards your block and arms are gonna extend forward. So let's use this to drive that left hip back. We feel that squeeze in. And let's just kind of take that hinge piece. So as we hinge, the biceps come up and over the ears or at least working towards that, but not overly straining. Squeeze the block and recruit this, these intercostals. Hug everything in, pause here, keep that hinge. This also helps to release the low back, releasing some of this adrenal hold. Good, slowly start to lift yourself on up, squeezing maybe on this one, we look up, reach. Nice, from here, taking your gaze, your drishti back towards center, straightening your front leg, lifting up. Good, coming into that abbreviated, that dynamic, there, that static pyramid, holding. Extend and reach from the side waist. Maybe a micro bend in your left heel. Chest is long and forward, but the pelvis is the counterweight. Gliding it back, one more breath here. 
And releasing block, releasing hands to the ground. Release your head heavy. So we're in that part, so again, feel free to use your blocks. Parts of you're going to keep your left hip slicing back. Inner thighs seam spin. Your right outer hip reaches forward. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. I'm just noticing where the mind is drifted right now. You can come back to this. Whatever sensation might be happening in your body or the sound of your breath. My windows are open, listening to the birds chirping. Don't get that every day in a yoga studio. So take a bend in towards your left knee. Maybe you're hearing some traffic. The dog barking, hands down, and slowly start to lift. So it's funny how these distractions, we can either, you know, feed into them or just let them pass. And that's the practice helps teach us is to keep that focus. That's what that drishti is all about. So we're here in this standing split pose or the standing L shape, either hands towards your left hip, but wrap your outer right hip down. Some of us are gonna stay here, otherwise micro bend your left knee, take your hands in towards your chest. Keep reaching through the right heel center. Lift up that abdominal wall, feel the front body, breathe in the back body, just one more breath. Well done, bend your left knee, back toes drop, inhale, find a crescent. Good, straighten the left leg. We open it up back into this prostrate fold. Hands towards your hips, inhale. Let's open up the collarbones. Great work, everyone. Winding down, exhale. Soft bend in the knees and fold yourself down. It's gonna be a little bit different on this one. Plant your hands if you can or find your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. And can you keep that? But can you interlace your fingers? We just had it behind our back, but now we're gonna have our fingers interlaced. Let's see if you can press your palms down. Work to straighten towards your elbows and feel the inner thighs back. Lift up the low belly, the shoulders are out of the ears. Just pressing down and towards the palms, a different form of release for the shoulders, the side scalenes of the neck. Feel the back of the sacrum level. Good, just releasing your fingers, turn your palms up to face you, press down into the back of your hands. And exhale, we fold it down. Good, inhale, come back up halfway. Just a little bit of a twist on this side. Your left hand is gonna draw down towards the floor. Take your right hand to the back of the sacrum, press down and towards the earth, that left hand and inhale. Start to open on up towards your right side. Press down, soft rotation, one lift, glide your left outer hip back. And exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift, keep your gaze, that drishti long again. The back of the neck is long, you have that snorkel that you don't want any water to fill in. Good, right hand down, right hip hugs back. Rotate right side rib cage, open up, open up, open up, and breathe. Just using the breath to kind of be that clearing space. And exhale, releasing down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's take that walking pivot forward. Planting the back foot back, either staying in your plank, chaturanga lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. We're all gonna come back to plank wherever we are and then nice and slow, start to lower yourself down to the ground, slow, 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 all the way towards the earth. Good, well done, Shalambasana. So we're on the floor here, top of toenails, reach back. From here, plant your palms down towards the ground. Keep your gaze or your forehead resting on the floor. And as you do, let's pull that low belly up and notice the pubic bone presses down but the back of the low back extends. And then reaching up your right toes and in the inner thigh of the sky and plant those toes down. Left leg lifts, inner thigh spins, plant those left toes down. And as the forehead drops down towards the earth, you're now just gonna roll the palms open. Now press into the back of the hands. Rebound the collarbones open so the inner shoulder blades glide closer. And then from here, so you press in the back of the hands, then you start to just think extension of the toes. 
Keep that side body long then, maybe some will start to lift up the arms. The thumbs hug in, the inner shoulder blades glide together, the collarbones are widening, we're here for another breath. Gaze is down towards the cheekbones, fanning out those toes. One more breath, strengthening the low spine. And exhale, let it go. Left ear releases to the earth. Let the side of the neck breathe. Good, bring your chin towards your chest. And then again, we'll start as we did earlier, the palms down, second layer, bending it towards the knees. Again, dropping your forehead down, feel that low belly lift. Rebound your shoulders up. Option layer one to stay. And just press in the palms and be hover the thighs an inch off the ground. Option two, you start to lift up the arms and chest. Kind of feel yourself in flight. Option three, some of you will take your hands towards ankles and find your Dhanurasana floor. Whoa. So again, spreading wide through your toes. Feet can be flexed or pointed. But now we're opening up the chest, but keep your gaze towards your cheekbones. Yes, you guys, so good. Shoulder blades back and open. Sternum is lifting. One more breath. Oh, you look amazing. Good, Karen. Yes, as you're ready, exhale. We let it go. Right ear towards the floor. Take a breath in. <sighs> Letting it go. And as you're ready, hands come on down towards the floor. So to lift ourselves up and towards our tabletop. Again, feel free here to use a block if needed. We're gonna finish out here into one other final back bend, but I'm gonna take my feet and actually tuck them under. We're gonna to come to camel pose. So another thing that we've been working, just kind of opening up our chest, specifically this throat and front body region. And so take your, the palms of your hands towards the, the upper flesh, the buttocks, and like, I don't know, I haven't worn jeans in a long time. I feel like I'm living in yoga clothes with not having to leave the house much on about you guys. But so if we had back pockets, we're gonna slide our hands to the upper buttocks and slide that flesh down. Inner elbows come in. And from here, that sternum bone lifts. Okay, but the sho inner shoulder blades are lifting up from that sternum chest first, pause. As if a fishing bait weight, heavy, that lure is weighting down that back of the sacrum. Let that be heavy. And just feel those inner elbows lift, but keep lifting up the chest, keep the gaze towards the cheekbones. As you can place your head on the back wall behind you, feel that lift of the chest. The gaze is down to the cheekbones. So you're lifting up in that upper thoracic right behind the heart. Good, so you're gonna stay here. Others are gonna reach your hands towards the back of your heels. Staying here, lift up from the back of the heart. The chin is towards chest. Are you breathing? Good, slowly coming back up. Woo. Sitting onto your block, release your feet, hands towards thighs. Take a breath in. Letting it go. Okay, we're just going to drop on down towards our seat here. And so finding your way in towards your sitting bones. Let's take your thumbs right beneath your knees. The knees are bent. Elbows draw back to that same action. As the back of the neck gets long, the front throat gets a little bit shorter. Feel the chin draw in towards the chest. So it's kind of like that double chin selfie. Plant the toes down, elbows back, pause. For some, we're gonna stay here. Others may start to lift up one leg, maybe the other. For some, we're gonna stay here. Others may start to extend the arms, just working into layers, just layering a cake. We're just putting on all the ingredients, maybe flexing the feet. It's gonna be option in layer one, you stay here. Otherwise, dynamic boat, inhale, lowering down. You can always take your hands down to the ground as well. Exhale, we lift one. Inhale down, gazing down to the navel two. Inhale down, exhale three. Inhale down, exhale four. Inhale down, hold it here for three. Keeping the gaze towards the cheekbones, belly, hold for two. Nicely done, on one, slowly lower all the way down towards the earth. Good, just gently bring your bend, bend in towards your knees, one foot down and the next. 
Again, taking the chin back downward towards the chest through. Let's bend it towards your elbows. Press in the back of the upper arm bones. Fingers spread wide. Front inner ribs start to soften and corset together. As you press in the back of the triceps, slowly start to elevate the back of the pelvis to lift. As you had a sandbag right across the front hip bones, let that part be heavy. Inner thighs will spin down and the energy is pressed down through the back of the shoulders, the back of the arm bones, chin towards chest. So we're just, in yoga, it's called our Jalandhara Bandha. It's an energy lock, right? So we're just here using kind of this placeholder of energy, right? Because when we breathe, when it gets released, that energetic surge spreads throughout the rest of the body. So keep pressing down and towards the feet. Softening through the glutes. As good as you're ready, releasing the arms, releasing one vertebrae at a time. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Good, and as you're ready, just hug your knees on in towards your chest with a little swivel around, around one direction, and then the next. Good, can you hug your left foot plants right knee to the ground and extend your right leg up towards the sky, take a stretch. Good, bend into your right knee, right ankle on left thigh for a figure four. Just releasing that outer hip. Softening the collarbones. Good, slow, jump to release the hand, release the right foot down. Left knee comes in opposite interlace here. Just extend that left leg up to the sky, reaching that left outer thigh forward. Good, bend into the left knee, left ankle on your right thigh, and let's take that figure four release. Notice what happened to the head, neck, and chin here, keeping it nice and long. Good, let's take the release of the hands, release the left leg. Just letting the feet land, inner knees draw together. If you like to take a happy baby's pose, feel free to do that. Anything else your practice might need, we're just gonna finish with a gentle twist. So we're gonna go ahead and open up those arm bones as we did earlier in that W-like shape. Soften the front ribs. Can you bring your right leg up and in? Take it looped over the left. You can either double loop like you'd be an eagle. Otherwise, lift the hips up over to the right side and let the knees just gently drop towards the left. If it's okay to feel the uh, release of the head neck gaze, then look over to the right shoulder. And if not, you just keep your gaze on upward towards the sky. If the mind is already going and drifting to what's next in your day or the possibilities of what might be coming. Just see if you can stay here with your breath. Noticing any sensations that show up in your body as you slowly come back to center. Good, releasing that right foot, planting the feet down. Final side, left leg lifts up and over. Press into your feet, lift up, slide the hips towards the left and then slowly, oh, dip it on over. Listen to the feedback of the snaps, the crackles, the pops, the aches. Mm. Okay, bringing your knees back towards the center line. Unravel. Everyone hugging your knees on in towards your chest, just gently with a soft, soft squeeze. And again, from here, let's finish with that Chin in towards chest, nose into knee, get the back of the neck, head school long. But then find that place of neutral and slowly release yourself all the way down. Feet ground, legs extend. Final Shavasana rest. Extend the legs. Let the feet flop out like the tail ends of a fish. Palms open up. The inner arms spin open, and as you do, feel those inner shoulder blades keep lifting up in the back of the heart. Bring the chin down towards the chest, the back of the skull extends. Closing the eyes and letting the eyes sink a little bit deeper back into their sockets. 
Feel the weightiness of any thoughts melt the back of the skull, brain, just as if a drainage system is absorbing any heaviness or worries from the mind. Just let the earth absorb that. Let go of any tension around the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw, the mouth, the back of the tongue, sides of the neck, shoulders, elbows and fingers, every piece of the vertebrae. The ribs, abdominal organs, and chest. The pelvis, the legs, all the way down the tippy toes. Shavasana rest. Just gently begin to glide your thumbs against the tips of your fingers. Seeing some movement into your wrists and your ankle bones. Mending one knee slowly and then the next. And then rolling over to either side, yet keeping your eyes closed. And just being held and cradled from the earth. As you're ready, you'll just start to Press yourself all the way back on up. Coming into that seated crisscross position. Hands place the knees, soften the elbows, and can you keep the back of your skull lifted? So if those ear holes land right on top of the head frame of the shoulders. And using this framework to create that foundational blueprint for your day. So when you feel yourself forward thinking, notice the posture, notice if the forehead starts to get heavier, how much we're getting that text head in our neck. What can you do to realign and find your center? Or if our thoughts are heavy in the past and we start to swoop down or even just start to roll ourselves back, what can you do here to realign and find your center? We do that together, coming into our center, bringing your palms in towards your heart and let that serve as your guidepost. This place of inner alignment. Sometimes we can only really navigate and operate from when we get quiet, when we move the body and allow to be guided in the way that's, um, that the body will be receptive to absorbing. So let's take a breath in together and a deep breath out. And honoring you in health, safety, wellness, and of all things, the breath. Namaste.